What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel for us and you enjoy my content, you can smash this sub button to be notified for future readings. This is the free general collective reading. Cuts through Sagittarius. No, 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 no. Sorry, Aaron Skirt. It's not a free general collective reading. Sorry. <laughs> Woo. My bad. Um, this is a uh, sign reading for Sign of Forest. I know it's been a few months since I've done them, but I'm back, baby. I'm back. So um, it's a sign reading for the sign of Taurus. This can resonate if you have Taurus in any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midnight, and Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, then apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Taurus. So, you know, even though it's for the sign of Taurus, there's millions of millions of Tauruses in the world. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. It's very important to say. Okay, so I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on uh, Taurus's energy for uh, March of 2022. It's a really great one. Um, so congrats to whoever this is for, just saying. Um, okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, a Tauren that is in a very committed relationship is about to receive a wonderful surprise from their committed partner soon. That is what I heard. Uh, so that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Whoever you are, Taurus in a committed relationship, whoever you are, um, that's beautiful, man. Um, now, committed relationship. So I feel it could go. You could be legally married, possibly, or you could be um, engaged, or you could be um, like long-term boyfriend, girlfriend, committed. Now, commit, I heard committed specifically, so I don't think it's like you're dating this person, and then they're dating four other people, and you're dating five other people energy. I think you're, if it's a dating situation and not engaged or married, legally married, I, if it is like a dating uh, boyfriend girlfriend type situation or boyfriend boyfriend or girlfriend girlfriend type situation i feel it's just you and them is what i'm trying to say like you and them boom baby just saying um that's what i'm feeling um i heard a wonderful surprise from your committed partner soon so whether you're in a um boyfriend uh, a male male relationship a female female relationship or a male and female relationship as at least for one of you guys in the universe congrats man i heard it's a wonderful surprise so i think they're about to put a lot of time thought and effort into whatever they're about to surprise you with um for some it's an engagement ring oh shit wow for some it's an engagement ring man i think i just ruined the surprise oh i oh i just ruined the surprise for somebody well sorry Oh, for some it's an, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. For some it's an engagement ring. Act surprised, Taurus. Act surprised. I feel you. Well, you could be masculine. It could be a masculine or masculine relationship. Um, or you could be femme. Um, I don't know if you're masculine or femme about to receive the engagement ring. But I ruined the surprise, but please act surprised. Wow, congrats, man. That's beautiful. Um, whoever that's for, just saying. Okay. Spirit messages you have aside for us. These are psychic, intuitive messages, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave, leave the rest. Just want to uh, disclaimer that, okay? Knight of Swords Upright. King of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Oh my God. A particular Taurus is about to learn of a Scorpio's business tanking into the ground. For some, a Scorpio's job loss. You are going to feel sorry for them, but not too sorry for them because you know the shifty things they have been doing in the dark. Some drugs, some fraud, some preying upon innocent victims. 
Oh my gosh, so you plug it in, how it resonates, you're popping it off for us. Okay, so uh, heavy scorpionic energy in here. It could be masculine or femme Scorpio. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, this is not you, it's you dealing with the scorpionic energy, masculine or femme Scorpio. Um, for some of these Scorpios, their business is about to plummet into the ground, I heard. For some, they're about to lose a job. Um, I heard you are going to feel sorry for them, but not too sorry for them because basically you know the things they've been doing in the dark. Um, some drugs, some fraud, some preying upon innocent victims. So whatever, however that resonates. Um, so their dark side, their definite dark side energy. Now, every, not everybody's loving light all the freaking time, and that's just the truth. But Whoever this is, I mean, when you're preying upon innocent victims and you're frauding people and um, and all that kind of crazy crap, that's not living, that's not even trying to live right, life upright. And that's just the truth. So, um, I mean, I would feel sorry to this for this person to a certain extent too. However, in all fairness, this person did it to themselves. And I'm serious about that. Whoever this is. Um, and some of it was drug use too. Some of it was drug use. So you plug it in how it resonates. So it's a Scorpio you either have known from your past or you're currently connected with in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, not as words upright is the information um, coming to you um, that this uh, Scorpio mask on our film business is about to take into the ground for some, and some they're about to lose their job over fraud, drug use, or um, preying upon victims. Um, how that resonates. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Um, th this is unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, undependable energy. This is, I feel this is a scorpionic energy. I think it's either a masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine. Um, and there's the money loss. So um, it's either the business they're about to lose, a job they're about to lose. For some, it could be both. But um, they shouldn't have done what they did. I mean, this is terrible. I mean, it's not you. It's you are about to learn the information of this person, of this Scorpion energy. So um, this is your energy. Knight of, uh, Knight of Swords energy coming to you to relay the information to you. But your Scorpion energy is pulling Knight of Pentacles reversed and Nine of Pentacles reversed. I mean, they are about to lose a hell of a lot of money. One particular Taurus that was involved with this situation very, very, very heavily with this Scorpio is going to lose their job as well. Masculine Taurus. Oh my Lord. Whoa. So one particular Taurus that was involved very heavily with this Scorpio. So however, however this masculine Taurus was very heavily involved. They could have dated the Scorpio. They could be married to the Scorpio. They could have been in business cahoots with some kind of fraud energy or preying upon innocent victim energy. I feel scammer, spammer, fraud energy with that. Um, but however, they were very heavily connected to them. I think they they associate with them in some shape, form, or fashion. So whether it's on the personal side or the fraudy, spammy, fraudy, spammy business side. How that resonates, but I heard they're about to lose their job as well. But I think it's a 3D job. It's 3D jobs. And I think on the side, they were doing some kind of con artistry type energy um, that was bringing them in a lot of money in the past. But it's not anymore. It sounds like it's, uh, it's already ended or it's about to end. How that resonates. Spirit messages you have a sign of um, Taurus. Seven of Wands reversed. Eight of Pentacles upright. The Fool upright. A particular Taurus is really, really interested in, in a particular person in their workplace for dating, but they know this person is not interested, and they are right, they are not. 
This, this Taurus is really, really contemplating on what their moves they're going to make next in the love department. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, Taurus, if this resonates for you. Um, at least one of you guys is interested in someone in your workplace. So um, I think it's a 3D physical workplace. Um, I heard you know this person is not interested in dating. Um, you or maybe anybody. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Anybody else so you have to plug yourself and this person in, how they resonate. But for some, it could be they just don't want to date you. For some, it could be they're just not interested in no freaking body. Or maybe they're just interested in one particular person. However, it resonates and it's not you. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But however that resonates, I heard um, you know they're not interested in you, though, for dating. So it sounds like you're going to back off of it because um, that's the seven of, um, sorry, the seven of wands reverse. So you're going to back off the energy of you backing off. Um, I, you obviously have, were interested in asking this person out or dating them or something of that nature, but you're highly intuitive who are this is for. So I think, you know, I don't think you've asked them out yet. I think you've been putting feelers out there to kind of figure out if they would be interested. Um, and I think you've determined that they're not. So you, I think this is energy of you pulling away as far as the dating game energy with this person, um, a coworker, Phil's coworker. And I heard you're going to um, really heavily contemplate your next moves in the dating game, basically. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, but um, I think this is energy of your person, uh, your coworker. Eight of Pentacles upright, full upright. They have fearlessness and freedom because they're in there making their money, honey, in this workplace situation. Um, and this is the energy of you backing off as far as the dating game energy with them because I feel you've been assessing the situation in the workplace situation and you realize they're not interested in dating either you or anybody. I think they're in, in there to get their money, honey, because they're pulling Eight of Pentacles upright and full upright. And for some of you Tauruses, this could be your energy as well. You're in there to get the money, honey. Eight of Pentacles upright and fearlessness of freedom to do whatever the hell you want to do. Well, I think this is your co-worker's mindset, too. I think it both is your mindset. So, and I heard you're going to um, really contemplate your next moves in dating. So, honestly, I feel it's dual energy. I feel it's your co-worker's energy, and I feel it's your energy. Getting in there to make the money, honey. Fearlessness and freedom, financial freedom. You and the co-worker's energy. I really, truly feel that. Um, I heard you're, it's going to make you really contemplate your next moves in dating. So I think you might um, make smarter choices um, with uh, who you date next is what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I think. Um, but you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, whoever that's for, whatever torn that's for, masculine or femme, if that resonates for you. I think um, you have probably dated some very codependent people in the past or some very needy well needy slash codependent people in the past or some very selfish people or um people that um were not on the same frequency or wavelength as you is what i'm feeling and that's why i think you're gonna sit stand back and really contemplate your next moves in dating that uh, that's just my personal logic, deductive, deductive reasoning and logic on that. But um, only you know your story, not anybody else. Actually, I feel guided to some more tarot. We'll do some more tarot. Whoever this is for, um, I think you are single as a Pringle. I think you're single as a Pringle or you're on a break or you've just recently experienced a breakup. How that resonates. Spirit messages you have a sign of Taurus. Princes of Swords reversed. Four of Swords reversed. Five of Wands reversed. A lot of reversals. Mm 
A particular Taurus is about to really, really confess some very important information on a serious fraud and fraud situation of the past. One of their co-workers was a victim. They're about to really, really stand up and make it happen in a huge way. They're going to get high honor for this. Whoa! So you, well, this is a good one, Taurus, if this resonates for you. Holy jolly, man. All right, Taurus. So if this resonates for you, um, a lot of co-worker energy in here. I just want to say that a lot of co-worker energy. So one of your co-workers that you work with was a victim of fraud in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. But you know about this. You know about this. And I heard you're about to really stand up for them. You're about to stand up for them in a very positive way. I heard you're about to report it to your employer. So you're about to report it to your employer that your co-worker was a victim of fraud in the past. Um, so I don't know who you're going to report it to. It uh, may be a manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor possibly is what I'm feeling. Or it could be HR or it could be all those people. But I feel high, high up people you're about to report it to. I mean, reporting, I heard you know your coworker was a victim of fraud. Um, it is about to be very, very, very integral report. You're about to get high honor for this. Smart power play move. Oh my God. Whoa. I heard it's a very, very smart move. Basically, it's a very smart move and you're going to get high honor for this. Taurus, you're about to make some serious power play moves. Um, but I heard you're going to get high honor for this. So I think you might be, you might be a miss, um, not a missing piece, but an integral piece in putting together some kind of fraud situation, but it's going to help out your coworker too. And it's going to help yourself out. Um, it's going to help both people out in huge ways, huge ways. And create negative series of chain events for others that deserve it. Oh my God. Okay. I heard it's going to create, um, it's going to be good. So it's going to be great for you and your coworker, but it's going to create negative series of chain events for others that deserve it. So you're about to relay this information. I feel official reporting energy here. I do. Whether it's to your manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or to HR, or to all those. Um, Heard you're going to get high honor and it's going to work out very positively for your coworker as well. So kudos to you, whoever you are. Confirmation from my kitty. That's fat boy. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm right here. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's beautiful. Come on. And once the ball starts rolling on this, many positive series of chain events will occur between you and this coworker. In a positive, copacetic way. Wow, Taurus, you are about to make some serious power play moves, man. It is a current coworker of yours, if this resonates for you. I heard once you officially report this fraud energy, um, very many positive series of chain events will occur between you and this coworker of yours. Um, many positive, copacetic chain of events. So, I think the coworker is going to really appreciate you uh, reporting this fraud energy is exactly what I think, because it sounds like you are about to be a power play mover to create a series of chain of events, not only to help yourself, but to help this coworker. Uh, you go with your bad self. So princess of swords reversed. I think there was lies. I think you were lied to about this coworker in the past, but now you know the real truth. You know, this coworker was frauded in some shape, form, or fashion, and you're about to stand up and be a power play mover. Four swords reversed. Um, this is fast energy, because upright is R&R &R energy. Reversed, it's things about to start moving fast. I feel that's when you start reporting the fraud. Uh, I think things are going to start moving fast. It is going to move fast, fast, fast. It is going to move fast, 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 is what I heard. Holy shit. So when you report this fraud, I heard it's going to move fast. And I heard that negative repercussions are going to come for the people that were involved in the fraud, basically. So you're going to be a hero in this. And I think your coworker is going to really appreciate you standing up uh, for them and the situation. But you were lied to in the past about it, but you know the truth now. So kudos to you, man. Kudos to you. And then five of wands reversed. Uh, no conflict. No conflict with your workplace. I heard you're going to get high honor with this. 
and no conflict with the coworker because you're going to stand up for the coworker in a positive copacetic manner here. And positive series of chain of events are going to occur between you and the coworker down the line in the future. So I think the coworker is really going to appreciate you standing up for them, is what I'm trying to say. This is beautiful energy. Holy crap, man. All right. Come on, fat boy. Now he's sitting down there with his fat belly hanging out. Spirit messages you have signed, of course. take two okay uh, I'm just gonna look at the other ones so I took two which was family sorrow and Lily spiritual love and then the two I put back was October and older man okay weeping willow family sorrow Some Tauruses, there's about to be a significant sickness in your family soon. Some, it will be a hospitalization. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Um, I heard some of you guys, there's about to be a significant um, sickness in your family soon. Some, it will be a hospitalization. So this could, to me, this could be immediate family or extended family, but some kind of um, sickness in your family dynamic, whether it's extended or immediate. For some, um, you could be close to these people or you maybe not have spoken to them in years. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, um, but some kind of sickness in your family. Um, I feel you might hear about this or if you're real close to them, of course, you'll know. But um, you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, for some of these uh, sicknesses, I heard it will be hospitalization. So inpatient energy. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. Lil Lily, spiritual love. A particular Taurus is about to really, really, really grow great affection for a particular tarot card reader through many series of chain of events. For some, it, is, it will be a very positive platonic connection. For some, it will be a very positive platonic connection, but very well may grow into something down the line if you positively manifest it correctly. Wow, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap, wow, Taurus. Okay, so, okay, so there's two different categories of you guys in here. Um, you're, whoever you are, Taurus, you're about to grow a very deep affection for a particular tarot card reader. Um, for some, it's very positive and platonic. So, you know, positive and platonic, man. There's nothing wrong with positive and platonic. I love positive and platonic. So, um, you know, however that resonates, but you're going to really like this reader. I think they really read your energy or they really give you good, deliver you good messages from the spiritual realm. If they do deliver, if they do get messages from the spiritual realm, or they could just be good car reader. I think you're going to patronize them. Um, I think you're going to watch them if they do it online, or it could be a 3D and you go visit them and they give you personal readings possibly. How, or maybe you will utilize services from them. Somehow you're going to utilize some kind of services from them in a positive platonic way is what I'm saying. Whether it's online or in the uh, 3D or what have you. Um, and you're really, you're going to develop a liking for them is what it, it sounds like here. That's the first group. The second group, <clears throat> positive platonic connection with this tarot card reader too. So you're really going to like this reader, man. Um, somehow they're going to help you in your life or you're just going to enjoy listening to their readings or maybe they um maybe or maybe they offer some other kind of services other than um readings possibly 
um, but you're really going to like them in a positive platonic way too. But this situation, situation two, I heard through many series of chain of events, it may develop into something more than platonic down the line. So I think um, possible romantic down the line, I heard if you grow and manifest it correctly. So who, whatever tarot card reader this is that you're about to really, really like, um, in a positive platonic way in situation two. Now, situation one, you're just going to love the hell out of this reader. It's going to be positive platonic, and that's it, and good for you. But situation two, I think you're going to develop feelings for this reader is what I'm trying to say. Down the line. Now, this sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's going to be down the line. But I heard if you grow and manifest it correctly, so, you know, don't screw up in the love department. I think you're going to develop romantic feelings for this reader is what I'm saying. But... I don't think this reader plays around. I think they're highly intuitive. I think they are a true seer and a mystic. And I think they, I think you know this. I think you know that they really are a true seer and a mystic. And it's not smart to fuck it up, basically, if you're um, romantically interested in them. Because if they're the real fucking deal, which I think they are, they're going to see right through your intentions. But I think you know this. So, just a little helpful advice for the one that resonates with this one. I think a lot of you guys resonate in Category 1 over here. But there's one of you guys that resonates in Category 2, at least one. So, you plug it in how it resonates. But spiritual love in this situation for both categories is love for this reader in a positive platonic way. And also, I feel it's the love of spirituality. Because, um, and you can be spiritual and religious, or you can just be spiritual. Um, but tarot card readings, if you're not a dark art spiritualist that gets on here under the guise of a light side spiritualist, because there's some that do that, karmic readers. And I'm just for real, for real about that. Hell, we've got some readers out there right now that do prostitution on the side. That's a karmic reader if I've ever damn heard it, and that's just the truth. But... For those of us that don't do prostitution on the side, and we are the real fucking deal, um, you know, that's real true light side spirituality up in this bitch. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. But whoever you guys are, you, you're you really either really loving this reader or you're about to really love this reader. Um, I think you might tell them so. Maybe, maybe you'll send them a message and tell them. Maybe you... Uh, or maybe you connect with them in 3D if they do 3D services. I'm not sure, but I feel it's going, you know, things will be copacetic there. I think you're going to, like, let them know. Um, and I think you're spiritual as well. Otherwise, why would why in the hell are you watching uh, tarot readings if you're not spiritual? Just saying, just saying. You know what I'm saying? And that's awesome. That's awesome. I love it. Let me see if I hear anything else. A very sick child is about to be very significant in a Taurus's life, five and below. It's about to give this Taurus a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. For some Tauruses, ten and below. Oh, my Lord. So, you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so I heard a very sick child, for some of you guys, five and below, and for some, ten, ten and below. It's about to become very, very significant in a particular Taurus's life. Uh, it's about to give you a huge ass wake up call. So I don't know if it's your child that's about to get very sick or a child connected to you. Um, however, that resonates. I feel it could go both ways. But for some of you guys, it's a child 10 or below. And for some, it's a child 5 or below. So definitely not 11 or older in either of these situations. Uh, it's either your child or some a child you're connected to. But... This child getting very, very ill is about to give you a huge ass wake up call. I'll tell you that. Um, I, I don't feel it's a little <clears throat> like minor cough and cold. I feel it might be something way more serious. And I'm serious about that. Um, however, that resonates in one's life. And that could be the family sorrow energy as well. The sick child energy. I mean, we're talking young child. Ten or below for some of you guys, some five or below. I mean, that is a young child. Uh, both of my children are teenagers. So, I mean, that's a young child right there. Uh, 
My particular Taurus is about to completely cut off a Libra feminine energy. Completely cut them off. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a particular Taurus is about to completely cut off a Libra and feminine energy, completely cut them off. So if this resonates for you, Taurus, of course, you only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. For some, it's a Pisces feminine. For some, it's a Pisces fam. Okay, so for some of you guys, you're complete, going to com completely cut off a Libra and feminine energy, completely cut them off. So I think completely cut contact with them, like no contact. And I think like cutting it off and not looking back energy maybe it's somebody you dated um or maybe it was a fake friend um you plug it in how it resonates i feel it could go both ways but however that resonates you're about to completely cut them off and for some it could be toxic family um but for some it's a libra and feminine energy for some it's a uh pisces fem for some it could be both they could have libra or pisces in their sun moon rising venus or family damage jupiter charts you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however, that resonates for you, Taurus. Only you know your story, not anybody else. All right, you guys. Well, I'm getting out of here. These readings have been kind of long. Uh, I was told I could do them back from the spiritual realm just not to make them real long, and they're getting long. So uh, I hope it helped, and I love you guys so much, and namaste.